Hey guys, so it's time here to check out the latest iOS 7.1 beta 4 uh, on my iPhone 5s here and on my iPhone 5 here I do have iOS 7.1 beta 3 so uh, there are some differences here not super major but there are some things uh, and the two first things here that you might see is that the power down screen is different on both devices uh, it's not a major uh, design change that they've done but when I look closely here you can kind of see that you kind of like get a different animation up there at the slide to power text and then you kind of see it goes dark on both but that's one of the updates. Uh, another little update here is that when we lock them like this, you can also see the thing down here. It looks a little bit more badass, I think. On the latest 7.1 beta 4 update, if you do ask me. Uh, also, if you want to install this yourself, uh, I will have links in the description down below that you can have a look at and check out. So that is two of the new additions there. Uh, another little thing here is a new voice changer for Siri in UK on the iPad. Uh, speed should overall be better and improved from what I've heard and I will definitely be checking that out uh, in other videos. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely pull it off, but it's probably not going to be a major, major difference. Uh, they should also fix some bug fixes. I've heard that you still maybe should be able to jailbreak, which could be some good news here. Uh, another little thing here from what I've heard is that the shift button uh, was a little bit hard to see, uh, at least on, like, on the white keyboard uh, on in beta 3. Sometimes you didn't even know if it was turned on, that's what I've heard. Um, but they should have fixed that from what I've heard. Uh, another little thing here is it kind of feels like the keyboard is a little bit more darker if you do ask me in the beta 4 but that might just be me that is seeing stuff that aren't there. That could very very well be the case here. Uh, and then we do have a thing here inside of the phone app. Uh, when you add a brand new contact uh, there's a difference here. Uh, so in the beta 3 you can see you got that menu down here uh, in the brand new version here uh, What is happening is you can see here. It just immediately goes to a, a new contact uh, Probably because not that many people used add to existing contact But then again, it's, it's the beta so of course many people didn't have the chance, but uh, probably that was one uh, one of the reasons there uh, why why they did that change and switch. I uh, probably will be doing some speed comparisons and, and some other things, but there's some videos that I want to uh, take out first. So hopefully you enjoy.